All right there, you little demons. Jules here for Live and Let's Dice. And I know what you're thinking. Sick shirt, dude. And yes, it is a brand new design that will be available using the link in the description below. But you know what is hotter than this brand new drop? My love for Kill Team. Because as you might have seen on our channel, we cover the format quite a lot. And Beanie and I have especially enjoyed battling with forces of incredible granularity and character on a much smaller scale. So Skinner <laughs> has been sent to the great beyond. Go, Rory Calhoun. <laughs> Yet there is one thing that has slightly bothered me about the current format, and that is that while Games Workshop have given us tons of different dark and dingy alleyways of the 40k lore to explore with the teams available, there are some models that they've already made that feel purpose fit for the game that don't have any rules. And one of the standout units that should totally be in the game are Gaunt's Ghosts. And now that I've said that, you're probably thinking to yourself, yeah, why aren't they in the game? That's really weird. And yes, I know there'll probably be some people out there that say, oh, technically Kill Team version one had some custom rules, but that was just for an event that was in Nottingham. It was a one dayer. They're not real. I want proper rules. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked here. What I've been up to recently is that I've been homebrewing a set of rules to bring them to the format. Be quiet, air freshener. And bring them I did, because here they are in all their glory. Yeah, we just have to hold for a minute because there is a slight twist here. But you see, all of the images that you're seeing on the screen around me, I didn't paint a single one of them. Instead, what I did was enlist my own skill team to help bring the Gaunt's ghost to life. So after countless emails and bothering people online, which by this point is pretty much my entire career, Looking like a freak. <laughs> I had enlisted some truly amazing painters. So outstanding, in fact, that I felt that they and the Ghosts deserved a truly amazing battle for their first outing. And thanks to a chance meeting that I had at Warhammer Fest, another devious and glorious idea began forming in my little rat brain. Yes, yes. For you see, my friends, this is a tale of courage, of skill, and of a lot of dice rolling, and about how I managed to secure a battle report on the back of an Imperator Titan. Oh yeah, buckle up. Which is exactly what we did when Beanie and I travelled all the way up to see Mikey from Hellstorm Wargaming, who kindly let us shoot in his studio and host all of the talented collaborators that we'd wrangled in to help us. This, my friends, is skill team Ira Metallum. So let's meet the assembled team. Hi, my name is Merlin Models, and I painted Ron. Hi, my name is Crazy Doug, and I painted Try Again Brag. Uh, hi, I'm VW Talos, and I painted Owen McColl. McColl? McColl. Hi, I'm Matt from Matt Paints, and I painted Larkin. Hello, I'm Mikey from Hellstone Wargaming. This Titan's as tall as me, and I painted Colm. All right there, geezers. Now, I didn't paint this, but unfortunately, Andy from Mediocre Minis couldn't be here with us today, so I will be commanding Gaunt himself. And it looks rather lovely indeed. Kisses. I'm Lee Godden from Kaiju Country, and this is my Imperator Titan, Ira Metallum. Hi, I'm Beanie from Level Let's Dice, and I painted up the Dark Commune to kill all of the ghosts. Boo! Boo. <laughs> so that's the team, and we were going to take on Beanie's Chaos Cultist kill team, which annoyingly got a nerf the day after that we recorded this. Thanks, GW. I mean, it's actually good that they're now balanced, but at the same time, damn it! <laughs> Anyway, we had the team and we had an enemy to face and all we needed was a battlefield. And with that, we had our match, the ghosts versus the cultists. All we needed now was a mission. Now, when we looked at the back of Iron Metallum, we found that there was a lot of line of sight blocking terrain. So what we decided was is that the cultists had already planted melter mines all over the different structures. And at the beginning of each turning point, we'd roll a D6 and remove one of them, thus opening up the battlefield and also exposing either team to the harsh elements. And in this case, elements are writhing tentacles or a mass of las fire. The winner would be the team with the most APL value standing outside the strategium structure at the front of Iron Metallum. And it was also decided that the giant cannon covering this area would be removed to allow better access to the area visually and prevent one team from stacking models too heavily in this area and being out of line of sight. Phew, I'm exhausted and the battle hasn't even begun yet, but that's what we're about to kick off today. Gaunt versus Chaos Cultists, let's get it on, baby! Um, will somebody please make me a, an explosion noise all at once? 
terrifying indeed. But there we go, that has been the sound of one of the massive turrets collapsing thanks to the melter charge and it leaves rubble in its wake. Now thankfully some of the Chaos Cultists have been able to use this as cover going forward and now we move into their turn. So, at the beginning of your turn you have decided to mutate one of your many followers. Which one and why? This one, because he's in front of the others and he's got a five up for your low pain, and that's great. Very nice indeed. So starting as uh, things mean to carry on. And have you played any strategies in the strategic? Uh, strategic uh, so I haven't uh, done any strategies, but what we have done is the first mutation power that we've given out to our boys is going to be the chitinous one, which gives them a plus one to their save. So then now they have a four up save for all the mutants and the torments going forward. Nice, yes. And that is a rule that applies to all of them. So it's uh, going to be quite a tough one to deal with that, but pretty good. And so that's mutated them at the beginning of the turning point, what are you going to do with your movement or your activation? Okay, so... Uh, feed the beasts? Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I would say we move these two up, because there's group activation two for the regular cultists, and just move them up so they're just standing behind this wall. Yes. Okay, so they're going to advance forward into the main tower there. Fantastic stuff. It is the 1990s because these two cultists have finished their move right next to the aptly named Quake Tower over here. Rocket jumping their way to freedom and to glory, but it may be short-lived because even though they have moved there, it is now time for the Gaunts to activate and Larkin, the Creeping Death, is about to make his move. So Matt, are you feeling confident? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. A little, little bit, but little more bit. nervous, is yeah, it? A little bit. Let's get the Don't other worry, the because fine. you have Larkin uh, now, who is an absolute sharpshooter extraordinaire. So what we need to do is eliminate as many of those cultists as possible. Now, if you can get up to the top of the radar tower, you may be able to see a few of them and maybe even pick off one of their yep. HQ, if you are lucky. Do you feel lucky, though? I do feel lucky. Yeah. Oh, I like that. It's got a lot, a lot of confidence. It's yeah. getting up now. He's not good. happy. He's not, he's not, he's <laughs> he's not, not happy. happy. He's not happy. <laughs> Sorry. Grumbling. So your special rule is that you can ignore ignore the first uh, circle of vertical movement yep. going up. So that means that measured out, you'd go uh, ignore the first one. One, so two, you three. Right you can basically front. position yeah, wherever you need to go. So if you'd like to activate him and move him, and because of the silent keyword on his sniper rifle is uh, Larkin's long lads, you will be able to shoot in conceal, which is very nice indeed. Now, what can you see from your little bird's perch that you've got there? I can see his nice little icon, and I can see his lovely little Blame, oh, the, the Mind yeah. Witch and the Iconarch. Yeah. Okay, now the question is, which of these two does Beanie love the most? Which one, Bean? I love them both Equally. like children. Okay. <laughs> Why don't we get rid of the horrible Flamer if we can? Oh, no, because that's a so, devastating yeah. kill team. So are you going to yeah. fire down from your perch yeah. there? Now, normally you are in conceal, so we wouldn't be able to target you, but because we are on a vantage point, that is nil, uh, null and void. So uh, four shots with your Larkin's long las, and you hit on twos, sixes are great. And you hit all four times. Now this ignores cover, so you will not be able to get a cover save. So how many regular saves do you get? Three. Three saves, five, five up, so here we go. You make two, two of them, so that means that you'll be taking two points of damage, which is with a Laz shot ricocheting off the giant banner and then down into the back of the, uh, of the bearer's head. You managed to do a fair amount of damage and bring him down to four wounds remaining. So, Beanie, tell us what you have done. So, we've realised that we need to threaten the midboards, otherwise you're just going to sit back, shoot, and we're all going to die. <laughs> so, uh, we've legged two cultists behind that wall, because hopefully I'm going to be able to do a little bit of sneaky mutation, and hopefully have a torment ready to eat your face very soon. Don't like the sound of that. So, another two cultists are here. They're pushing up very quickly. How will the ghosts respond? Over to the Gaunts, and Bragg is going to be leading the charge, as helmed by... Doug, Me. yes. That's my name. Now, because you have the heavy Hello, keyword, <laughs> because you have the heavy keyword, it does mean that you can't actually do a full advance around the corner over here and start lighting people up with his famous auto cannon. And it means that you've had to end balancing on the railing over there, which we're saying is completely legal for. Uh, <laughs> it's very precarious. One more explosion, he could be toppling over the side to his death. But to be fair, he throws caution to the wind every single day. So I think this is pretty much in keeping with his character. And you're firing down the line over here towards this one cultist who is ready to take all of the shots from the auto cannon right to the chops. First blood. However, Bragg isn't exactly a uh, marksman, is he? No, I mean, 
No, no, no is the answer. <laughs> I mean, he. Uh, so he's got a ballistic skill of five to represent this, but he does have a special rule which is called I never miss, which means that if he fails to inflict damage the first time around, you can repeat the shooting action, but you can only do that once. You can't just keep repeating and repeating like you could in 40k for yeah. that one time. That, oh, was, a, yeah, that, was, that, that was horrifying. It's spray and pray. It is spray and pray. Yeah, spray and pray, exactly. So you get four shots going against the cultist. You're hitting on fives. And you miss with everything, but luckily you get to make that shooting attack again, baby! <laughs> okay, so you hit one time and it is a critical. So it's AP1 and it's going in against that cultist over there. So it is a two dice save. Two dice and we need to see some sixes. Yeah, two dice and you're looking for sixes. Believe, believe, believe! Ones and twos. There is a six, so it cancels out. The bullet ricochets off of the measly armor, or indeed the pipes that are just in front of them, and Bragg has made his intentions and his location very clear to the cultists. Okay, guys, tell me what you've done with your activation. So we have, with a quick move and a dash, moved this chap here who didn't think to bring a shirt uh, <laughs> over the top, so he is with his mates hiding behind the tr strategium. Mm -hmm. And then there's the conga line of pain over here where I've just added another one to the line. Lovely. Not much damage, but we're getting ready to stab you. Yes, exactly. Right, back to the gaunts. So, Mikey, tell us what you've done, baby. Big boy, boy Colm is going for it. Hell he's yeah. To play. So he's come up, he's hiding behind this imaginary corner, and you can see this blue cultist boy, and that blue cultist boy has had it. I'm a, it, it. He's annoyed at the fact that Bragg could not get the job done over there, so he's just said, like, I'll show you how it's done here. Right. Four attacks with his hot shot Lads Carbine, and his special rule is he can only lose a maximum of three wounds to himself, because the hot keyword is bad. It's all right. I'm not going to lose any. No, OK, fine, just don't roll any ones. I didn't roll any ones. You didn't roll any ones, and that's a lot of hits as well, because he hits on threes, everything's hit, and it's, a, it's AP2 it's as well. You can retain one for being in cover. Um, that is your one. Yeah. Okay, so one of those gets automatically blocked, but unfortunately, he's going to be taking all of that damage so there. Seven. Two, 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 three, yeah, the four. Okay, so that is that oh, first ball. cultist. Oh, oh, I'm I'm Obliterated. I'll take first blood. I'll take first blood. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> Catch up time. The first, the Mind Witch has moved through the congregation over here, ended their move down just outside of the strategy zone, which is what we're calling it now. It's like the crystal maze. And they have thrown down, what is the name of the uh, special power that they've got? Malefic Vortex. Oh, that's so saucy and naughty. So they've chucked a Malefic Vortex down here. So that means that anyone within two inches, which unfortunately is Mikey's character over here, is going to be taking some mortal wounds at the end of the turning point. Is that uh, correct? No, so they'll take one now. Oh, okay. If they're still within two inches of it at the end of the turn, they'll take another one. Oh, okay. So Mikey, you've got to roll a five up, feel no pain, because this will go into their plot armor keyword. So let's see if you can save this mortal wound and save some face straight away. Let's go, baby. Ooh, okay, so one mortal wound taken from that, and you'll have to roll again at the end of the turning point, which you might as well do now because he can't move, can he? So, let's go, baby! Ooh, oh, okay. two mortal wounds for the privilege. I did enjoy the spice, though. That was yeah, good. Yes. Confidence. That's all you need. Confidence. <laughs> and the, the worst part is that any time that anyone moves through it, they also take some wounds. So if they end their move within two inches of it at the end of the turn, then they'll take a mortal wound. But we can reposition it with the Mind Witch every turn. That's very good indeed. I like it. But, well, I don't like it because we're we'll losing. Like it. <laughs> it's bad like times. It. It's bad times. So what are you thinking? What are your thoughts? It's just another glorious day in the guard. Um, <laughs> Time to die for the Emperor. Yeah, yeah, grind them down or turn into paste that gums them up. One of the two. Exactly. Well, that has been our thoughts here by moving Owen McColl up onto the top of this radar dish and once more using True Line of Sight, he can spot the Iconarch who is wounded on four wounds remaining. Can you do the damage? Do you believe? <laughs> okay, well, let's see. Okay, so you've got four shots coming in, hitting on threes. Get ready, get ready for the pain. I mean, that was pretty good. There's one crit, there's one hit there, so that's not I'll take, bad. I'll take a crit. Now, there's no cover that the Iconarch is behind, so it's going to be just on the flat saves of five ups. Five ups. Three five ups you've got to make. Three five ups. Put them to one side. I'll try. Okay, so three five ups to make. Fail them, please. Oh, you did ask nicely. So um, you pass ones, but you're going to be taking three damage from the critical hit that goes in. So alive on one wound, and the Iconarch is injured. Yes. Oof, 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 indeed. <laughs> So uh, what we've done, we've taken the Iconarch and he has moved forward uh, as far as he can. Because he is injured, he takes a um, minus two to his movement. So yeah, essentially he is crawling whilst trying not to burn the floor with his sensor. Uh, he's got him behind a bunch of cultists and hopefully, hopefully he can live till the next turn to melt some face. 
nice word. Yes. I think it is about time now to start with the man himself, really. It's time for Gaunt to jump into action, and he's going to use his one of his abilities to issue a guard's order to his pal over here, which is a free dash action. So that's going to take him right to the base of the thermal conductor, and then he's going to hop the barricade and end his turn standing proudly in the name of the Emperor, while also having a few bodies in the way to absorb the incoming cultist horde. And that's going to be his move. Very wise. <laughs> Beanie, tell us what you've done. So, uh, after a bit of discuss uh, discussion with Lee, we've decided that we need to move up and cause a little bit of damage coming up towards these little snipey boys hanging off the edge. Mm. So, we have run up our first mutant that we made earlier that has the chitinous armor, so the four up save, a little bit more durable, relentlessly brutal in combat, and will very, very soon possibly be a torment. Yeah, not looking forward to that, if I'm honest. That's like the. No, don't like any of that. Okay. So that ends Back. your turn. Yeah, because uh, only group activation one on the mutants and the torments. Gotcha. So it's time for Rawn to step into the fray, and he is kind of our close combat specialist outside of Gaunt because he's got a lovely ability that means that he can resolve an action even if he's not the attacking party, and just basically stab somebody in the face before he goes down. His move is going to be very simple. We're going to move him straight up next, touching the wall of the strategy office. We're changing the name every single time. And, um, <laughs> and <laughs> the HR department. And, and we're just going to leave him there for the moment. And that is the end of the Gaunt's go because then we're going to move into Overwatch each time they then activate one of their operatives. So, Beanie and Lee, tell us what you've done. Uh, well, we've moved up and turned this guy into a delicious tentacle knight. Ooh, so the demagogue has strode forward, issued some sort of uh, commands in the ears of one of their followers, and they burst out of their skin into, well, new, even more horrifying skin. Yep, and because uh, our first choice of mutation was the chitinous, yes. it means that we've got a plus one to the armor save, so they have a four up armor save and a five up feel no pain, That's so they're getting good. a little bit more doable. They are indeed, the ghosts are getting a bit worried, but now we go into my favorite part of Kill Team, and that is trying to get as many pot shots as possible before the enemy swarms you as we move into Overwatch. Now, every single model that can see a, another enemy model will be able to make an attack for every single action that is made by the enemy team. So that it's likely that all of the ghosts that can see will get another firing opportunity. And I believe that it's time to summon the one and only Crazy Doug up to, cut, to start this up. He's excited. I'm yeah. in. What's going on? Do you want to know the, the bad news though, Doug? You know, you hit on fives before. I know if I watch you minus one from so you're hitting on sixes. There's no bad news. Let's, just... <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Okay, right. So it is. Bragging. It is four shots from Bragg down into the mind, which I'd say is your only time. The mind witch. The mind witch. Four shots hitting on sixes, baby. You're looking for that lovely living nuts dice logo. He gets none of them, but remember, you get to fire again. It's the shooting attack. He never misses, man. He got a six and a re-roll over there because it went into the dice. <laughs> He's oh. got, right, okay, so there is one crit coming in, AP minus one against the Mind Witch. Okay, uh, let's oh, see really if I can roll yours. roll some sixes. Here we go. Nada. Three damage? So that is uh, five damage from the auto cannon. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Whoa. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Oosh! Just pumping everybody. You're just punching yeah. people. <laughs> just pumping. Just punching You people. get a bullet. You get a bullet. Obini, explain what you've done with your turn. So, uh, luckily, the Blessed Blades have a really useful ability called a Tune in Purpose. As long as they're basically close to each other within six, they can activate together at the same time. So, uh, we just shuffled them up, they leapt over the little barricade there, and they're coming around the corridor to create, essentially, the Corridor of Pain. Yeah, not looking forward to that, but luckily Larkin is lining up his shot. And Matt is about to take the brain bullet witching out. Somebody, he's going to shoot yes. somebody in the face. <laughs> so, Matt, who is Larkin going to be shooting at? Right, so we've got this lovely little guy that seems to have got like his little backside hanging out of the corridor of pain. Yes. So we're going to go for him and give him a shot. Cool, so shooting down at the mutant. Now it's minus one to hit normally, so it's going to be hitting on threes this time. Six is a great. Ooh, that's, that's not good. Do you want to use one of our CP to re-roll this? To just just try and do a bit of damage yeah, on that. On, cool, so it. we're burning a CP to re-roll one dice. You re-roll one. Dice, roll oh. dice. So you got one three. Oh, oh into a one, okay. So, even worse. so we've got a four up save. Would you like yeah. to roll the four up save? Uh, you won't even need to roll it because you are technically... Oh, in cover, yeah, yeah, so we'll take that. One. So, no damage done by Larkin as his overwatch is... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to sweat. So Beanie and Lee have moved two more of their cultists forward into the rubble of where one of the giant tower turrets was before. Now, 
This is a good move for them because it does unfortunately put them in the line of sight of the Overwatch of Owen over there, but it doesn't really matter that much because they've got sheer massive um, bodies. There's no Overwatch, that's the end of our movement, so you don't get to activate oh, it again. No, yeah, no, we're done now. Oh, in that case then, that is the final turn of that, so that is no Overwatch for you. Sad times. Denied. <laughs> Denied indeed. And thus ends turning point one. We haven't done that much damage and the masses, unwashed as they be, are on our doorstep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> So with a mighty crash, the Quake Cannon collapses, changing the battlefield once more. But the Chaos Cultists care not for this because they only want to spread even more violence. And now that Beanie and Lee have mutated one of their following into a torment, it is ready to charge around the corner into Rawn. That is a big old charge coming in right there, and it is time to attack against them. But remember, I have a little keyword up my uh, sleeve, which is, I think not. So when Beanie attacks me with the torment now, I will get to resolve one of my successful dice before getting absolutely pied off. As basically, Ron just gets his knife and she goes, ah, oh, no, not happening today, mate, and stabs him right wherever he can see him. So, it's time to do some combat. How many attacks do you get, my friend? Five attacks. Hitting on. Fours. Rerolling. Rerolling everything. Everything. Uh, if I get a crit, then I can turn one of the other successful hits into a crit with the rending Beautiful. keyword. Beautiful. Done. Which... So rerolling those two. So, so that'll be uh, three crits because Very turning nice. one there and just re-roll these and see what I get. Oh, so it hits with everything. With I three crits. That is going to hurt a lot. Can I have four dice, please? No. But yes, there you are. There's four. Cool. I uh, just got to make sure I see what he hits on. So he's going to be hitting on. Uh, he's going to be hitting on threes. It's got the ceaseless keyword. So he's re-rolling everything and he gets to resolve one of his before no, you. Ceaseless is re-roll ones. Oh, well, it's the relentless keyword then. Yeah, okay. cool. So, hitting on threes, lethal five ups, and re rolling everything, luckily, that we do. Okay. Okay, so we hit three times. Only one of them is a crit, though, and I'm going to use this crit before he goes down to basically. There's nowhere I can mitigate the amount of damage because each one of these coming in is. So, four and five. He's going to die no matter what. So, I'm just going to do as much damage as possible. So, he's going to resolve one of them before you do. So, he's going to do uh, four damage. Okay, so I'll do four feel no pains we'll after at the end. Well. Yep. Okay, uh, so now that is five damage. Cool, I will do another three damage to you over there. So, seven in okay, total. Okay, I'm going to parry that last one. Cool, and then do the rest of them. So, you have to do seven five up feel no pains, and then I've got to do all my. Actually, I've got to do all mine first because um, it's a case of he may still live. So, I need eight <laughs> dice, please. <laughs> eight five ups to keep our boy alive. Will the plot armor see him through for the first wave of attacks? Wouldn't it be ten because I did two crits at my base? It will be, yes. So, ten. Ten five. Oh. Ten five ups to save Ron. Let's see if he's got it. He's okay. Yeah, he's still alive at the moment. Let's go, baby! But there is still yet more to come. So he's yes, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's another nine dice to roll to see if we can keep him alive. And he's taken uh, six damage, so he's got two Yes, left. I believe in you. Come on, if now, then not when. Here we go. Yep. He tried. He died, unfortunately. Ron is out of action. And I've got to do seven. Oof. And seven five up on pains for the torment. Who only takes three damage out of that in return? Oh dear, the Gaunts are on the back foot already. So even though the Ghosts have lost their first member, it is definitely not over yet because Mikey is stepping up to the plate. We've used our free dashes to get people closer to the action, and now you're going to light some people up with the hotshot Laz Carbine. He's a two-time champion, you know what I mean? He's done it once, he's about to do it again. Hell yeah. Hello. Uh, as you have selected one of our, well, the commune it, yeah. Uh, team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, carry on, carry on. Uh, so, on. Once, yeah, so once you've selected one of them, we can now select one friendly Chaos Cult operative uh, that is visible and within circle of that friendly operative mm -hmm. to take the beating for him. Cool. So this little chappy right there is going to get shot in the face for one CP instead. Cool, right, so oh, all your That's you. right, yeah, feed me with your booze. <laughs> Here we go. Two time champion. Ooh, no, and we don't have any CP, so that is just two hits, but it's AP minus two, so it's going to be just... So I'm going to retain the one uh, for being in cover, so I'm going to take Three the... Three damage on that one Two there. damage, isn't it? It's a... Uh, oh, yeah, you're true. So it's a two damage on that one there, and now you can choose to either fade away 
Just as long as you don't end within two inches of that. Uh, How far can I move? Is it three? three six, six inches. Six inches. Can I pull right next to the gun? Yeah, yeah, good idea. Yeah. And hide a little bit away. From yeah, the smart TV. plan. Smart plan. Yeah. Okay, so, so that ends his movement over there. So, Beanie and Lee, tell us what you've done. Would you like to tell them? Mind him? bullets. Oh no, this is not looking good for poor old Bribe because the mind which has moved forward and what is the spell that you are casting at him? Infernal gaze. Oh, and what does that do? So as long as it's within two inches, this will do D3 plus five mortal wounds. That is insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Unnecessary. Some would you like to throw, uh, would you like to roll the D3? Here we go then, D3 plus five. Much like to roll the D3. Here we go. Okay. So that's seven mortal wounds. So seven five up, feel no pains I'll for Bragg over here. How many? Seven. Oh, five up, feel no pains. Will the plot armor oh, hold strong? Is, uh, <laughs> gets a roll twice. No, thankfully not. Five plus, yeah? Yep, five up. Oh, we're doing dramatic rolling this time. No, this never works. This never works. One. The. 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 Yay! Okay. So five more. Okay, so he is definitely wounded there. He's on three remaining. So he's going to be hitting on sixes normally now. Whee! <laughs> so we've had a bit of a discussion off camera. The ghosts are a little bit rattled by the amount of damage that's sort of coming out from the kill team over here. And yes, I know I'm not on my marker. Mikey, I can already see him shaking his head, but it is with good purpose because it is now time for Matt to lead the charge. He's so nervous, I can see how nervous you are. Don't, it's, it's, just like, game, it's just a game, it's just a game, dude. It's just after last time, I've had a word with myself and I'm going to try and roll a little bit better than last time. Exactly. But now it's like, I've got to do this or we're doomed. So I'm like, I'm like, oh, it's like pressure but the, and everything. And the best part is, is that it's, it's him going against yeah. the HQ, it's going against the yes. demigod. I'll move over so you can see what Larkin can see. Thanks to the Quake Tower imploding, you can now see all the way down the line here to target the demigod, who's not in cover and is therefore eligible to be targeted. It is four shots with Larkin's long las coming in against him, hitting on twos. Can you pop the demigod? Believe in yourself, man. Just have a little word with Come the Come on, you little baby. It's got a you it's love it. You have hit three times, but there was no critical hits there. So it's going to be three saves of five up against your demigog. So let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Fives. You don't want to do this. Oh, he's... Oh! <laughs> Sometimes the game just doesn't want to play. <laughs> OK, fair enough. Uh... We feel fine. Do we have a strategy? <laughs> Where Listen, right, again. Okay. Where did he learn to shoot? For those, for, those, for those at home, this was meant to be a nice sort of like thing to show off the power of the ghosts. It's going well. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. The boys have decided to mutate another follower into a mutant. It's a debutant, deb mutant ball over here. And the, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, really workshop that. And um, the demigog has fallen back, uh, very satisfied with the chaos that they have managed to wreak across, uh, across the battlefield. So they have another mutant. <laughs> they have two torments in play. It is looking pretty bad, but it is time for the ghost's rebuttal. Coming down from above, baby, hitting on threes. There is two, Terrible. two big hits there. Uh, is there any minus AP? Uh, on this one here, there is no minusing. On so we've got three five ups. Would you like to take the honors? Here we go, baby. Three five up saves to make. He's made two. Made one. Made one, so that means there's only going to be. Um, yeah, you'd be dead. He's dead. Four damage. How many how many hits did you get? Three. No, two, wasn't it? Yeah, so oh, it's, so it's oh, only yeah, yeah, so it's only, only the one. Safe. Yeah, it's only alive. It's still alive on two wounds remaining. That is unfortunate. And that ends our turn there. So over here, the boys have started activating their cultists, moving them forward across the ruins of the Quake Tower, and are actually going to do their first shooting attack of the game up at Un over here, so that is going to be a bolt pistol. Uh, so it's a just a pistol. A pistol, okay. What's it hitting on? So it's hitting on fours. There is four attacks, and it's two, three damage. Amazing. Let's see it, baby. So hitting on. Do it, do it, do it. Are we able to shoot him? You are indeed, because you moved and you're within six with it. All good. You hit you three times, so it is going to be um, three five-up five saves. Who is uh, uh, controlling it? Oh, it's Will. Come on, let's see it, mate. Let's see it. Three Rolling five saves. Oh, Keep your sniper alive. Why are you me? Because you're there. Oh, no. Three five-ups. That's... Oh. 
Okay, so you made one, failed two, so how much damage? Four damage. Four damage, damage. damage, so it's going to be four feel no pains. You've got here a five up. Ooh. Plot armor, baby. Plot armor, watch me roll one. Ooh, you do block one there, so you only take three. So three damage, and now we can move up one one more cultist because they are group now, activation indeed. two. And the second cultist ends their move next to their friend. That is the end of the chaos turn. Now, in terms of response, we've got Bragg over here, we've got Gaunt himself, and that is it for our actual active members. So why doesn't Bragg light up some faces, shall we? Yeah, that's right, Doug, he's getting right involved. Up. And there's nothing, so re-roll again. He never misses, baby, believe. Okay, you got Wait, one what? hit through. Okay, so it is AP1 on that guy over there. Uh, do you want to do the two five-ups? Two five-ups. Is this because I rolled too many fives and sixes? Exactly, oh. exactly why. And he has failed, so he takes five damage. Ooh. Boom, oh. boom, boom, right here. Oh, because it was a six, it's a crit, yeah. Yes, it was. Um, do you have a feel no pain for mutants, though? No, uh, no, no, that was going against the mutants. No, no, oh, was wasn't it? Against the, uh, the oh, against the mutants. So that would have been a four up. But uh, yes, yeah, so we've got to feel no pain on these. Nice. Uh, okay. So uh, do five five ups. Five five. And if you could get all of them, that would be delicious. Do you know, I'm going to make you roll these. Ah, oh, <laughs> concern it. Okay, so he takes got. three damage out of that. Okay, not bad, not cool. Bad, not bad. And Bragg finishes his move over here using a dash to get just outside of the two inches of the Mind Witch's malefic Maelstrom, and thus ends the Ghost's turn. So over here, Bragg has not been able to rest for very long because unfortunately a mutant has decided to charge round the corner straight into him, meaning that it's now time for combat. So Beanie, you are hitting on. Hitting on fours with four attacks, relentless and rending. Nice. So he hits with two hits so far. Oh, okay, only the so two. two. Right, now you get to roll. Um, four dice, and you're hitting on threes, fours because you're injured, but you reroll everything because of your relentless keyword, and right. lethals are five up. Reroll both of those. Reroll both of those, Dougie boy. Wow, you've hit with everything there. How much does that do it down? Remember? Three damage, he's dead. No, he's not because he's got five oh, up. Oh, oh, no. Five. oh, no. <laughs> okay, so you've got to basically roll three of these and hope you get at least one five. Come on, bro. Do it. Yes, he does. He's alive on one wound, Yay. so that means that you're going to use your one to parry that. He has no uh, combat against you, and you will kill the mutant for charging you. Good job, oh, Doug. I've got a five of feel no pain as but, well. well don't, don't, let, don't, let us have something, dude. Yeah. No. Okay, so Wait, now these are uh, four damage apiece because of the lethal five up. That's three damage. So you are looking at eight, nine, ten, eleven, five up, feel no pains, and you need to keep him alive. He's got four wounds remaining. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Easy. I've seen him do it before, and he's done it now. No, no he's dead. I, I thought that he just. I saw I so many. I saw so <laughs> many. Oh my God. Oh, okay, so that is the mutant oh, out of there. Bragg's alive yeah. on one wound. Yay! So, it's come down to this. There's no hiding from the fact that there is a torment right on our doorstep here. So I think that what we're going to do is that Gaunt is going to issue the charge, lead by example, and go screaming into the torment over here into combat. Now. It's a risky move, for sure, but it is a move nonetheless. He's got a power weapon, it hits on twos, it's fours and sixes, lethal five up. He just need two, needs two solid hits to do this guy in. Let's see if he's got the gusted, uh, the mustard. So there is all hits. With one crit. With one crit. So five dice, hitting on fours. Come on, beastie. Uh, Rerolling your fails. Yeah. So, yeah, so Why does he get five attacks? Does he? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, blimey. Um, okay. The, the torment does. Blimey. Okay. more attacks than an <laughs> epic hero. Okay, right. So, while I'm saying I wrote the rules, I could have given him an extra one. Okay, so he's hit him four times. Now, in terms of doing the damage, we will kill him, but it's just whether he fails his uh, lethals. So, we're going to start first by doing six damage to you. You will get to do dam a damage back to us. So, we will do four damage back or. There's no point in parrying because I'll then kill you in the next turn. So you've got to do some so, damage, so I'd say. Should we do our um, feel the pains now? Um, well, no, because this is um, it only only kicks in once you. Oh no, yeah, you do. I meant to do it each time. So yeah, you've got to do your uh, six feel no six, pains. Six pains for the first one. Because this will dictate what happens. Okay, so you've only uh, passed one, so he takes five, five damage. So he's down so to down. five in total. And that is four damage back. So I will do R for um, feel no pains. Yes. I'll just take these ones here. Four, five up for Gaunt's plot armor. Oh, okay, he takes three. 
and then he's going to do four damage back to you, leaving you on one if so you... Another, so another four, four up field no pain. Uh, five up field no pain. <laughs> I love this, there's so many field no pains in this. Okay. Uh, so he takes another two. So what's he on now? He's taken down to three. And then you get to attack me back. So another, another four. four. Okay, so another four feel no pains. Always oh, doing better that time. It only takes two from that one. And then finally, another four damage here for you to do. Another four feel no pains. Can he kill the torment? Can he do it, Mikey? Let Can he do go, it? Baby! He's got to do it. He, he has done it. it. Okay, cool. Let's go! Okay, cool. We killed, we killed the torment, oh which is good. Very, very good. We have taken six. Um, five wounds, so he had nine to begin with, so he is uh, down to four. And he's injured. He is injured for now, but thankfully there is a healing strat that we can use at some point soon. So he's injured. Let's go, baby. Go on showing them how it's done. So that is the end of all of our operatives activation. It is going to go back to the chaos side to do some stuff and then we're going to do some overwatch if we can. So feeling a little bit spicy, this cultist over here has run round the corner in order to shoot Bragg. That's so mean. Why? Why do it to Doug? He doesn't deserve this. Um, just a boy. So it's going to be how many shots with the pistol? Four shots hitting on fours. Four shots hitting on fours. Let's go over and see what Doug needs to save against. He needs to save against everything. Oh. All of them hit. Can I just sit back down? <laughs> well, no, technically, eight. that's eight I'll damage so problem. far. Yeah. You've got three five ups to make. <laughs> uh, and now all of this. Now, now eight feel no pains. Eight feel no pains for one wound. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mate. You can do it. You can do it. I believe this is where it all comes into it. The luck. I mean, people do thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up. Thumbs up, everybody. Ah, oh, not a single one. So unfortunately, Bragg bites the big one. So that is another ghost out of action. <laughs> so here we are. It is time after the Chaos Lads have moved another one of their cultists. Where? Where did it go? Uh, next to the Torment to be friends. Oh, beautiful stuff indeed. So now it is time for our Overwatch and we have a fair few options here. Nearly every single person can see what they need to shoot at. So who would like to volunteer first to do some Overwatch? It's Doug is out the gate. No, okay, so it's oh, Mikey. Hey. Now, who you can see is definitely the Mind Witch over there, or you can see that cultist. The Mind Witch is on two wounds, though, so I would say that that is uh, what we need to just get rid of. The two-time champ abhors that witch. <laughs> okay, here so we go. Uh, you'll need, um, because he's not wounded, you'll need fours, fours. instead. Easy. There it is. is easy. That's three and two are crits. Let's go, baby. Okay, and um, is there any minus AP on this guy? Um, this is minus two, so he is dead. As a donut, yeah, because even though that, and that takes away the swirling vortex. Okay, cool. Now, after much positive reinforcement, Matt is ready to take we center stage ready. once we more. Now, I believe in you so much, I dude. I believe in me now, George. There it is. There it is. That's all we right, Kate. Got it. Now. Over here, the Chaos Boys moved some cultists up against yeah, the wall. Yeah, so the two went up to here, so they are in position to... But we don't, we don't care about that, because we're going into the shooting uh, Overwatch here of Larkin, who's going to shoot down one of these cultists. It doesn't really matter no. which one. Which one um, do you dislike the most? Ooh, that's a good point. Uh, probably one right in front of me. Yeah. Well. So not, so not the one that's disrespecting you by facing the complete <laughs> other way. Look at my juicy ass. Like in the face, he's met Larkin's gaze, and now he's about to have his he's eyes got the shot same right out. You've got at the moment. So he's like, <laughs> he needs to go. That smoke's got face too well. Okay, so you're hitting on threes this time because it's an Overwatch. I see it. Okay, so we get you two yeah. times with that. Uh, you get uh, no cover saves, but you do get five up saves for your boys. One. So that is two damage with the long las. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, and then it goes over to your Blessed Blades activation, and I don't think you've moved your Icon Bearer either. All so that torment. All the torment, indeed. The Blessed Blades have crept forward over into the rubble. Their ominous silence is permeating the battlefield. Thankfully, though, the Gaunt's ghosts are busy shooting at cultists over here. Yay! Come on, dude. Let's get Owen up there. Let's shoot some cultists. Now, I reckon that he should go for the wounded one. Just focus fire at this point. Take down what we... Shoot what we can kill. Isn't that right, Mikey? That's it. That's what shoot he said. Shoot to kill. Shoot to kill. So you're going to be hitting on fours, shooting your four attacks down at that guy there. What dice, isn't it? Believe in the Emperor, bro. Oh, 
the, it's the only way. Here comes some sixes. Oh, you manifested that pretty well. That is three hits against that. him, so three five-up saves. Does he not have any minuses with his...? Uh... Um, he doesn't have with this guy. No, he does not. Okay. No. So uh, three five-ups. Make oh, two. So take four damage, is it? Because um, he hit with four. Uh, Didn't he? Hit, four and hit with three, so, hit so, with three, so two more damage. Only two, but it is wounded, at least. I'll take Indeed, indeed, indeed. It appears that there has been a big stink. Stank has arrived. The uh, Torment has moved up around the corner. I'm not happy about it, if I'm honest. But it is time for Gaunt, the final Overwatch of our turn, to shoot into the wounded cultist because at this point we just need to shoot what we can kill before it mutates and regenerates all of its wounds. So now I'm going to be shooting him with Gaunt's bolt pistol. It's got the balanced and it's got an 8B1 rule added to it, which means that he's going to be able to reroll any one of his failed dice, but he is hitting on fours now because of the Overwatch plus the fact that he's wounded. So let's see what he's got. And I'll re-roll one. Oof, that's bad, man. AP1 going in Two against him. Ups. Two five-ups. And neither mate, though. So he did. He's dead. It's threes and fours. So See you later, buddy. Finally, a cultist down for the Emperor. Let's go! OK, so that is the end of all of our activations and all of our overwatches. So now it is just Beanie to move his final icon arc and thus ends turning point DOS. All we have to do is move dash. So here we are at the end of Turning Point 2. The Chaos Cultists and the Iconarch have ended their move right in front of the Elevator of Paradise, also known as the Strategy Office, also known as the HR Office. So that's putting them in a very good position to win this game, because remember, you just need people with high APL standing in front of those doors, so when they finally open, they can say, surprise, this is going to hurt. The Gaunt's Ghosts are not in a good shape. I will say that, but hope never dies, even if people do. So, we are going to carry on into turning point three and bloody cross a lot of fingers. <laughs> so, rolling for turning point three initiative. Let's see it, baby. It is a six. Finally, the Gaunt's Ghost have stolen the initiative. It is our time, boys. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah! I like that even our opponents gave us the hell yeah. Any opportunity to show hell yeah. <laughs> okay. But what explodes, Mikey? Beanie, would you like to roll yep. as a dice? So one, two, three, four, five. And so six, six. six is like, yeah, re-roll. Six is you pick. Oh, so okay, okay. Oh, it's a three. three. One, two, three. It is the giant goes. tower obliterati. Now, the average man may look a bit worried come the state that we find ourselves in at turning point three, but I am not that man. I am fearless because I have two CP. Two CP to spend on what will hopefully be the upswing of this game. He said lyingly. So, what we're going to do is, because we find ourselves in a situation where three more mutants have now popped up, Beanie's mutated, this cultist, this one over here, and this one around the corner, we need to deal with what we can as quickly as possible. And that's where this 2CP strat is coming out. The first one is going to be as one, which is as a Gaunt's Ghost operative finishes the move, if there's another one within six inches, it can immediately activate. Going to make the use of a double activation. And another one is not until I say so, which is healing up a single Gaunt's Ghost operative, D3 plus one wounds. And that's going on Gaunt himself. He's got to stay alive right here. So we burned through our stockpile, and Beanie has also spent one CP on, I believe it's called Dark Fervor. Is that right? Sickening oh, Aura. That is not even correct. Not even, not even close. A Sickening Aura, which does what, my friend? So uh, if you're within uh, uh, two inches of a Dark Commune, a Mutant, or a Torment, you will worsen your weapon and ballistic skill by one, yep. but it is not cumulative with being injured, so it's not going to take you down to like minus two if you're already feeling a little bit battered. Gotcha. Okay, so we won the roll off this time around and we're starting by activating Gaunt, who is going to heal up first the D3 plus one wounds from IC2. Could have gone better, could have gone better. Let's just turn the camera off and Yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's cool, cool. Right, so we're up to six now, which means that we're not injured, which means that his charge distance is going to be a lot better. So what we're going to do is declare a charge nine inches around the corner into that mutant over there. That's the plan. He's going to fight him in one-on-one -on -one combat. Whee! That's the noise he makes. It is going to be four attacks going into the mutant, hitting on threes because it's been worsened by the sickening aura. Uh, indeed. Indeed. Okay. So he has hit you three times over here. And with a balance rule, I get to re-roll one of these. Oh, and because he killed something, he gets to roll D3 extra attacks. 
for another three attacks. <laughs> this is this is it. This is where. Yeah. It's really... Here he goes. And he hits you another time, and that's two lethals on the five up with his power weapon. So there's five attacks coming in that you're going to have to save against. And what is your rebuttal, my friend? So I have four attacks hitting on fours, relentless. Rerolling everything. Yep. So reroll three of those, but he gets one big hit through. How dare you attack my dice? So I think it was it was two two crits yeah, though. Was, yeah, so that yeah. one was mine. Yep. So that's going to turn that into a crit as well, but the yeah. So I have and I had two crits yeah, over so here. So what I'm going to do is because we have five solid Big Bang Bazinga beans to go through, and how much damage are you doing with these again? Four each. Um, let's do. Let's just start with six wounds. Six wounds straight away onto that one there. So six feel no pains on that. On a five. Oh, okay. So you're down to four, and then what are you going to do in return? I'm going to hit you for four. So it's going to be four feel no pains on my side. I make two, so I only take two wounds down to four. And then I will do another six wounds against you. Okay, let's make another six feel no pains. And I believe that is him out of action. He's dead. Good, fantastic. So Gaunt has taken his first skull this round. Fantastic stuff. And we won. I know, right? And we because of the thing. and because of the fact that we will be paying that CP to activate as one, it's going to be Mikey's character, Colm, who's going to go straight in for the kill. I don't know who that is. Do you mean the three-time champion? The three-time champion. Okay, so now you could either stand there and shoot him with your hotshot Laz rifle, but I would say that going in for the kill and getting away from the torment is probably your best bet, and it gets us right on the objective. So he's charging in. Can he do one damage? Let's find out. Let's find out, baby. So the three-time champion. The three-time champion. Stand up. Just one successful hit to kill him. Rerolling once. Oh, good thing you are, mate. Good thing you are. I like that you called it, though. That was a bit of a. I, I know. I, I'm. I'm. I. Ooh. The three touch up here. That's much better. One of those uh, goes through, kills him immediately. Hang on. He doesn't hit on twos, does he, in combat? And he's taken a minus one, so he'd have been hitting on threes. Why does he? Uh, does he get minus one? Because of the sickening aura. But I thought you said it was only for mutants and things. Uh, no, no, Chaos and cultists. Dark and the dark commune. Why didn't so they just say everyone? With everything. Oh. You didn't kill him. You didn't do any damage. Oh. Now, would you like to roll oh. your damage in? You silly, silly sausage. So, you're still alive. Yeah. So, would you like to roll oh, ours? Yeah. Hitting on fives. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Okay. So, well, so, hitting on fives then. Hitting on fives. Handbags are dawn. <laughs> well, it's yeah. fine. It's fine. It's all good. We're still holding that objective, or at Maybe least I contesting. That's ah, okay. It's all good, dude. It's all good. So that has been our double move uh, to begin things. It is going over to the Chaos Cultist side. The fight is not over, it seems, because a mutant has now joined the fray. He's charged in. He's going up against Mikey. The he's, he's done. Do we degrade him to the two-time champion Don't because you dare of that? Do that. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's going to be uh, combat coming in, but this time because uh, Beanie is supported in combat, he's going to be hitting on threes instead of fours, and he rerolls everything with relentless. So he's rerolling two of his dice. So I get to turn that into a crit because of rending. rending, which is fun. And all of them find their mark. You, on the other hand, need to hit with and fours. Fours as well, but rerolling once. Okay. Uh, one of them. Oh, only one through. So, so I start. I'm going to parry yours away. Yep, and then you're going to have to do plot armor for all of the rest of them. So Top that's four, there. eight. That's eleven damage. Eleven, five up. Feel no pains. Our victory that was just within grasp may have completely slipped through our fingers. Here we go. Yeah. You got six. Quad champion coming in. Move those out of the way, Beanie. Yeah. Apologies. Apologies. <laughs> He did okay, but unfortunately no. he's very, very dead. Uh, How many wounds did he take? He just takes six. He's not very dead. Oh, that's dead. a real shame. He is out of there. F in chat, everyone. F in chat. F. Okay. And that means that it's just down to three members of the Gaunt's <laughs> so Ghost to win this game. Well. Don't rely on us. <laughs> Fret not, friends, for there is support coming from the wings. And that's the form of Urn, who's going to shoot down at the, uh, the Iconarch. Because we know that Beanie's going to spend the one CP to throw a body in the way. Waste a CP potentially kills a mutant if we roll well, which Good I nice know CP. you will. I mean, we're deader than fried chicken. What is this? What is this attitude? Did Come on, man! Fail. Come Let's on! And that's okay. glorious day in the garden. Here we go! Booyah! That's perfect. You hit with everything, that's and that's critical hits. So that is amazing shooting right there. So Beanie gets three five up saves. Four ups of, uh, oh, chitinous! Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Cool. Ooh, okay, so you block the crit and you block a regular one, but you do take uh, 
four, four damage from those four, ones there. Five, feel no pain. Indeed, it be. So you take two damage from there. So even now you rolled really, really well. Unfortunately, the rules for that are just stronger. It's just strong, mate. It's just strong. So that is the end of Owen's shooting, but he does have another APL. Does he want to move down maybe into the corridor and just absorb a charge from a torment? Very happy for this. Let's do it. Laying his life on the line. Let's give him a little proud salute here. So he's going to finish his move down in the corridor, waiting for the torment. Replacing him just literally in eating distance. Why not? <laughs> Got it. So, why don't you step up here, Matt, and let's get some shooting done as Larkin. Oh, well, here we are. There's limited options remaining, but Larkin is going to aim down at the Iconarch once more to try and pop that skull. So, it is time. Should we put another faithful follower in the way, or should we let him die? I think, you know, we're going to let him die. Because oh, okay. the guy... We need oh, look at that. He's oh, done six yes. mortal wounds to him straight away. Where was this all game? Oh, no. You only needed to do that? one mortal wound. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the Iconarch is finally dead. Yes, and he point. never one shot his flamer in no. the whole game. Honestly, he was like the linchpin, clearly, of your army there. I don't know what was going on. Um, He's gone. So but he is finally gone, and that is Larkin's. Uh, I don't think that he really wants to move because there is, like, the torment right there. But right, let's I'm, just leave it there. So that's the end of our activations. It now goes to the Blessed Blade, and I believe you've got some mutants as well around the corner. So please get activating, baby. So here we are. The Blessed Blades have moved up around the corner and they're looking pretty threatening, I won't lie. Gaunt is basically yelling up to Larkin, we need to do something now. And he just goes, Overwatch? And he goes, yeah, that'll do. So he's going to turn around and he's going to fire his um, bolt pistol, Gaunt's pistol, into how many wounds do these Blessed Blades have? Cool. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to shoot one into them anyway because we haven't targeted them the entire match and I just think okay, it would be funnier so to do. And there's no minuses to that either, so I should be able to just blast him uh, at range at hitting all threes. Uh, well, you're within two inches of a mutant torment or a dark commune, so you get so minus I still one. still get the minus one there. Yeah. So I will be hitting you on fours then because it's the minus one for Overwatch and then a minus one on top of that. Yeah, because it's not cumulative with injured, not the other things. Coolage. Okay, so we're going to be shooting at the Blessed Blade, the one on the right. Why not at this point here? Uh, and I get to reroll one for balanced. Mm -hmm. Cool, so there is three three hits and one crit. It's AP1. So two five ups. Indeed it be. Neither made, so I think he might kill him. Uh, yeah, no, he will, because it's, four, cause it's, it's four, four, three. So yeah, yeah, he's yeah. dead. They've absolutely pied him. So there we go. That has not been a bad round of, uh, of Overwatch there. And Beanie gets to activate with his mutant around the corner, and then we'll get to do one more round of Overwatch. Now things are looking pretty grim for the ghosts, nearly just gaunt on his own, but there is still hope in the light of Laskin's, or Laskin's Laz rifle. So uh, he's going to be shooting down into the wounded mutant over there, just trying to help out his uh, commanding officer. So hitting on threes, baby. Ooh, that's the sugar of that donut. Uh, you do hit two times. Not bad in the slightest. So it's going to be... Um, Three four ups, three, four and then ups. into feel no pains. So I stopped two, and that was enough to stop the two that went through, I believe. Yeah, because you only got yeah. two hits. Yeah, you rolled three dice instead of two there. So, the um, so the mutant dodged those fire there. So that is the end of our activations and our Overwatch. And Beanie still gets to activate his mutant. Incredibly dire for the ghosts, but maybe, just maybe, they can save some face by taking as many chaos with them we on the way out. We've, We've got, got this, got yeah. This. Got so it. let's get ready for turning point quattro. So Matt, I believe that the professional term that we are experiencing now is bonitis. Um, we are really struggling. Um, but let's save some face by slashing some off. So what we're going to do is spend our one CP that we get for this turn on healing up Gorn. Let's keep him alive as yeah, much as possible. It's D3 plus one. <laughs> Fantastic, he's back up to six again. I love this game. So it is, he's on to six wounds remaining, but it's better than nothing. And it's time to roll for initiative. Come on, you got this, you got it. And I'm going to spend one CP on sickening aura sure, again to be a You don't even need to at this point. Well, in time. I might as well. Six. Yes. Three. Okay, so we will claim first turn. Let's do as much damage as possible. <laughs> do you want to do your shooting attack before I get ripped to shreds? Stop there, sir. There's one last melter charge to go. Oh, there oh, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I bet. One, two, three, three four. four. Yeah, sure. One, Whoa. it's over here. There it goes. <laughs> the communication tower is, is finally really, down. 
could have done with that going in the first turn, couldn't we? <laughs> okay, right, we'll get that sorted out now. Oh, the communications tower is finally down, leaving nothing but rubble. It would have been a shame it's, if it had gone in the first couple of turns, it would have helped us out with line of sight, but unfortunately, that just is how it literally crumbles. So, Matt, you are going to step up to the plate to do the I'm final on. round of shooting yep. with Larkin over here, and he's going to shoot down into one of these torments. Just get, just get rid of him for me, please. Just, just, Which one? Just roll a million sixes, please. <laughs> Right. Let's try and see if we can do get that it. one. Yeah, I hate let's that one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Not even looking at you. So it? four so. dice hitting on twos. Sixes are Threes. great. Which one? Uh, not for him because he's not within. <gasps> oh, yes. Sorry, I thought you meant uh, gaunt. So here we go. Oh, he does get Whoa. one of them and no re-rolls, unfortunately, but a lot of hits there. So it's three Sorry. mortal wounds on him straight away, and then it's uh, minus nothing. I don't think. No, nothing. Here we go. Okay, so you don't block. So we stop one of them. Yep, so that means that you're going to be taking six, nine, nine in total. Nine, nine feel no pains. Nine, nine, five, nine, nine, feel no pains. And, and it was on this one, right? It was indeed. Nine, feel no pains of five up. <laughs> this is where you'll make all fives and sixes now, isn't it? Yeah, and he did. Oh, come on, brother. If you want to give us a chance, at least don't lie to my face. Like, he just rolled all fives and sixes on it. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. If they weren't our dice, I'd say they're baked. Like, <laughs> I'd have been better chucking the gun, honestly. It would have yeah. been more damaging. Well, that is the end of, uh, of your shooting attack there. It was an admirable effort, but I unfortunately tried. it just was not Good enough. Luck, so now so. it is time for everyone to cross their fingers, their toes, every piece that they've got of their body that can be crossed because it's time for the torments to go in against Gaunt. So he's charging in there. He's not supported by his mate because they would have been in, uh, I wouldn't have been able to target him if he was in uh, engagement range in the first place. So bring in the wounded one. The wounded one challenges me. He shambles up. He does. So he's not, he's had some damage done to him, but he's not wounded. Gaunt's going in. I'll let you roll all your dice first and I'll see what I've got to deal with. Rerolling everything apart from that one crit. But okay, so there's only three there, but two are crits, oh, oh three and, crits. So it's three crits. So. It is four attacks base. D3. D3. Okay, so I'd say I get D3 extra attacks for three. So four, five, six, seven attacks coming in. I've got sickening aura on me, so I'll be hitting you on threes instead of twos. Oh, come on, brother. He does incredibly well. He's not going down without a fight, I tell you that much. Um, I don't want to re roll any of them, so I'm just going to take my seven hits. Okay, uh, so five damage. Okay, so I'm going to do my five plot armors straight away because this may be important to us. So, the five plot armors. He blocks one of them, so he's taken four damage. He's down to two, is that correct? Yes. Then he's going to do, unsurprisingly, Six damage. if he can weather the storm, I'm going to parry one of these. It may seem risky that I've got to take some feel no pains. Listen, I'm going to die anyway. I might as well just do this. <laughs> so five more feel no pains, and I've got to make, I've got to make three, five up. So five, you five, could do it. I've four. seen you do it before. This is what it all comes down to. I love the expression on Mikey's face. He's absolutely fuming on this. I'm just so stressed. Okay, here we go. So five, feel no pains, plot armor. Will it save the day? It doesn't, and he dies. Unfortunately, Gaunt is down. If he had managed to do that, he would have been able to do some damage back. But unfortunately, that is not the way that this battle ends today. So Gaunt has been claimed by the forces of chaos. Not even plot armor could save him this time. And maybe it's time that, uh, what's it called again? Valor is the better part of... Uh, uh, discretion it? is the greater part of Valor. Let's, yeah, discretion. And maybe we should uh, withdraw from the battle lines over here. I'm out of here, lad, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. See, this is the thing. Era Metalla may have fallen today, but that's not to say that it hasn't fallen completely. Maybe the Imperium will come back and salvage it, but maybe they've realized that the amount of detonation that's gone on there has rendered this once impressive war machine fairly moot. In that, so you're, you're just saying the cockpit, and they'll be like, "What was that?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go. That has been our epic kill team battle report of Gaunt's Ghost versus the Chaos Kill Team, or the, uh, the Court of the Colorful Trousers. The and the Colorful Trousers as well. All of our trousers were indeed brown once we started seeing all of them <laughs> charging around the corner. There, it's been an absolute pleasure to work with all of you, lovely people. Thank you so much for your painting efforts, for coming all the way here, for Mikey for hosting us, for Lee for letting us play on the back of this impressive, and that is a massive understatement, Titan. 
Hope that you enjoyed it. Let us know what you thought about it all down in the comments section below. And remember, you can subscribe to Live and Let's Dice for more weekly battle reports and live streams. And let's go around the room to support people with their Instagrams and social medias. Matt, where can people find you? Matt.paint13. Perfect stuff. Mikey, give him the mic. Pass the mic around. So I'm, mic. I'm known to be in the mic stand, to be fair. <laughs> so, uh, you can check me out at Hellstone Wargaming on all platforms. Appreciate it, guys. Fantastic stuff. You can follow Doug over at? Uh, it's Crazy Doug with a K. Awesome stuff. Does lots of stuff over on Instagram. You can follow you. It's, uh, at VW Taylor's just on Instagram. Fantastic stuff. And Lee, where can people find you? So, Godzilla on Instagram, and my blog is Kaiju Country. Amazing stuff. And finally, Beanie the Meanie. Where can people find him? Uh, Beanie40k on Instagram. Beanie40k on Instagram. And you can follow me, RetroJ, but the O is a zero as per usual on all of the social medias. Thank you very much, gents. Hope you've had a good time. It was a blast, literally. And we'll see you soon. Oh, yeah, get out of here, get out of here. <laughs>